Hi, everybody. Uh, I got up really early, which is kind of typical for me. And I thought I would jump online to um, give you some fun thoughts and let you know that I'm still working over here and that nothing's changed. Uh, hold on one second. I'm going to kill the screen. For some reason, I'm in stereo. So I'm just going to disregard that. Um, I was trying to set up in Zoom. Um, but I was having trouble because of the uh, that my issues with my old account, which, by the way, I should be getting that back up once I settle with uh, resolve my issues rather with YouTube and know very well that it's not about them. So anyway, I thought I'd jump online and get this back on track to being positive. So sorry I'm up so early, but um, most people usually watch my videos after the fact anyway. So um, I thought nobody would really care if I came on early when I'm up. And uh, obviously, I'm going to have to change my sleeping habits to uh, stay up to stay up later for a camp out. Uh, but usually I'm kind of I kind of conk out early and I get up really early. So hold on one second. Cupcakes uh, fussing. Hey, would you stop it? I'm telling you, she's the ham for YouTube. OK, so anyway, here's what I was thinking about as I was trying to think uh, positively for the new gear and to um, get things back on track and think about a camp out, which I've never abandoned YouTube. I'm just waiting like the rest of you. But like I've told you in the past that uh, I do plan on having a camp out and they can mock me all they want on uh, their other ridiculous stations. Uh, all they're doing is basically asking to not come and uh, that's fine. And I think it's gonna be a big event whether they come or not. And uh, and let's so I'm trying to get this fun for the rest of us who are waiting and who don't uh, who don't take their nonsense seriously. So anyway, here's what I was thinking about now that um, I'm looking at the calendar for the year. So if everybody can sort of carve out the Fourth of July weekend as a tentative uh, camp out, I'm not asking you to do anything because I know people are still skeptical and don't believe me at this point. Um, and that's okay, but I did want to tell you what I was thinking about and that I would love help on because it's just, I'm just one person. And, um, if we want to have a big fun party and a big fun camp out, uh, the more the merrier who can help me think about, uh, issues that I'm not, um, that talented in, then that would be great. So anyway, here's what I was thinking about, uh, in terms of an event, I'm thinking about the 4th of July weekend as our first possible date with a backup as Labor Day. Hopefully this does not go into Labor Day. Hopefully we're all ha having a big uh, big party come uh, the 4th of July. Uh, with that in mind, just, as, just while I'm thinking of, of it, because I'm doing this without any notes, uh, this is New Mexico camping, and I've said it in the past that this is like – desert, high desert sand. This is not the place to have fireworks. So uh, 4th of July weekend is not, uh, despite what we're going to have at 4th of July weekend, you can't bring fireworks. It's, uh, you, you'll set, you, you'll set fire to everything. And uh, that is absolutely prohibited. The other thing that I was thinking about in light of COVID is um, I went to an event here in Santa Fe for uh, a couple concerts and they make you have the vaccination. And um, I think that's gonna, I know that's gonna be a requirement too that you have to show proof of your vaccination here. Um, so, you know, if you haven't done it, you can already see that people are um, getting incredibly sick and or dying because of the lack of vaccinations. And um, number one, it's, it's good for you, it's good for the rest of us and it's, um, Obviously, if there's young people uh, who can't get vaccinated or other conditions that can't get vaccinated, uh, we don't want you to be a risk to them. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about for practical purposes is, um, you know, if you're if you if you have disabilities, you should give people the heads up so that, for example, maybe somebody could drive your car away from the campsite area. And uh, you have to you have to be prepared to give them permission to drive your car. It's not a it wouldn't be a very far distance, but if you need to, um, you know, have 
uh, accommodations and you can't walk uh, terribly well, uh, you know, make sure people know about that and, and um, think about that. Uh, I think my thinking from last year is um, still the same in terms of what I think people would want to do is, is, um, is drop off gear at a certain spot. We'll figure that out down the road. Um, and then uh, you're going to want to drive your car after you drop off your stuff. Uh, you could either have somebody drive it for you if you want to stay with your stuff, or you can have somebody watch your stuff, whatever. We'll figure it out. But, um, you know, that's another thing that people could help volunteer for. If you, you know, hey, Barb, I want to get there uh, early, and I'm happy to help people bring their gear to, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm physically fit, and I'm happy to help people bring their gear to a, a site and help them maybe set up their tents, that would be something helpful. Uh, if you do volunteer early to participate, uh, I'd ask, you'd be asked to not um, show anything from the event on social media and, uh, you know, just enjoy, enjoy helping out and hanging out uh, with um, the activities. So anyway, those are some, that's something to think about in terms of a set of volunteers that we could probably use down the road. You know, hey, I'll, I'm happy to help people set up tents or, or help them bring their luggage uh, or, you know, not luggage, but, you know, food and, and camping gear to a certain spot. Um, if you're in, uh, if you want to be loud, which is not, it's not encouraged, obviously, uh, that you get terribly intoxicated because this is, you know, an isolated area and uh, you're not gonna be close to anybody to help you. So you're gonna have to self-monitor your drinking. You're, this is social drinking, not, not somewhere to come and get sick from drinking too much. It's supposed to be fun and light, not, not people getting in fights or getting over, overly sick. But if you do wanna be in, in an area that stays up late, uh, you, know, you should let people know that and so that we separate you from you know the people who just want to go to bed at, at, at a normal hour uh etc okay so those were sort of my things i had been thinking about now now for sort of like the fun thinking in terms of possible help and possible idea generating i put my personal email in the comments section below uh you know please only email me uh, you don't have to email me now because, again, I know people are still skeptical and doing conspiracy theories all over the place. But um, I'm going to leave this video up. This is not I'm not going to delete this video. This is not a drama video. This is getting my practical videos back up on this new account. Um, so I'll keep this up. So if you want to um, volunteer, here are some things that that and, and I haven't planned activities. So this is sort of the planning activity. Uh, you know, generator. Uh, so for example, I, uh, we could use artists. Uh, we could use uh, people to help me think about technology, uh, people to help me think about um, safety, people to help uh, plan a program, uh, people to help plan activities. So uh, let's, let's break that down. So Acti like for ex example, activities. I was up this morning before I jumped online, and I was watching the uh, violinist that I just saw in concert here over New Year's, and um, I thought, wow, wouldn't it be cool if we had like somebody who knew, like in our in our diverse community, like somebody who knew how to play the violin, um, or alternatively, you're like me and you're not like that artistically coordinated. And, but you'd be happy to pay for somebody who is artistically talented. So, hey, Barb, I'm, uh, I'm a violinist. And then you shoot me an email. Hey, Barb, um, I'm happy to pay for a violinist for X amount of time. And um, I'll, I'll commit to that and, or my corporation will. And uh, here's, here's that. Or I was thinking, you know, Native American dancers are very big here in New Mexico. Hey, Barb, I'd like to sponsor um, a time frame for dancers to come. And then we'd figure out, you know, the, the, the time frame for that. And uh, we'd have the, the, the performers come in. Um, another idea was, hey, Barb, I'm a, 
I'm a professional painter and I'd love to um, uh, paint for you or I'd love to uh, show people how to paint uh, at the campsite. Um, what were some other ideas? Uh, additional types of dancers for, for certain time frames to perform. Again, you are in a dance troupe and you would love to come and perform for everybody. We give you a time frame. Or, hey, Barb, again, I'm not, ta I'm not talented like you, but I'd love to pay for that and I'll do the research and I'll figure it out and I'll bring them. The other thing is maybe you want to be part of the late night party group. You're a young, you know, young guy or gal and you know that this old gal doesn't know how to do such things. And, uh, and, and you know how to figure it out, even though this is, you know, you're in the middle of nowhere. You know, I don't know if that's possible. You know, but if you if you want to do something and have be be the coordinator for the party group, you know, that's something too to think about. Hey, I know how to get um, a stereo system up and running in the middle of nowhere. That type of thing. Or another technology thing that I came that I thought of yesterday was, you know, in case we get some little ones or people or people want to just watch a movie or something. I don't know if it's possible. So I didn't look to see if there's like battery run or whatever run type things. But you know, like, hey, we could do an outdoor movie. Hey, Barb, I know how to get an outdoor movie thing run in for you. Um, and I'd love to sponsor that for a certain area. Uh, that would be an option too, you know. Uh, it, so those are those were the types of things I was thinking about. And uh, uh, what else was I thinking of? Um, hey, I've got an ATV and I'd love to bring an ATV for to help out and uh, I, and offer that to be used, and I'll drive it because obviously you're we're not going to want to drive your ATV, you know, during X Y Z time frame. So you're not running up, you know, running all over the place with your ATV and not having fun yourself. So um, what else? I guess that's about it. So I'm, you know, if you're if you're talented or if you want to sponsor something. Because I'm thinking that whatever the Fen family is doing is going to be something pretty big. Um, you know, let's, you know, let's bring the community back together again. Let's hear from some people who we haven't heard from, as opposed to the people who are running around YouTube all the time. Because this is, you know, this is a camp out for, uh, uh, this is the fest of us for the rest of us. Uh, and uh, would love to hear from you. So this is not about, uh, you know, who can be sarcastic the most on YouTube? This is about planning a camp out. And uh, again, you may only be watching my video now saying, oh yeah, whatever. She thinks she's a solver. She's not, blah, 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 tune her out. That's fine. Again, you don't have to email me now, but you know, why don't you take uh, it with a grain of salt and th start thinking about that type of thing. And um, if you can help and take um, me up on my request down the road, that would be great. Um, you know, and if people are crafty, you know, if we have, I'm not a very crafty person, you know, I'm, uh, I, I, well, I'm a little crafty, but not like, like the hardcore crafty people in this world. Like I can do, uh, do, uh, and I'll show you a few things that I'm working on to give you a, an idea about some other practical needs. And I'll come back on, uh, in a few days or a few weeks, I'm not sure what, and go back and tell you uh, ideas that we had discussed before. And, um, you know, supplies to bring again, I'll put that video back up, things to do in northern New Mexico, uh, you know, and again, if you want to help me run events too, for example, uh, I told you about last year rafting um, on the Rio Grande, uh, and I see canoes and kayaks, and I see, I've seen people bring inner tubes, and I was at this one spot, and I'd have to go find it again for you, I'll do another video, but hey, I, hey, Barb, I'd love to do the day trip, and organize that um, for the Saturday or Sunday of, of the party. Um, so you can shoot me an email for that down the road or other activities. Hey, Barb, I'm interested in going to see some of the vineyards. Hey, Barb, and I'll coordinate that for everybody. Um, hey, I'm interested in, in fishing. Um, and we know, Barb, you wouldn't go near a fishing pole to save your life. So I'll, I'll run that. Um, that type of thing. So those are some ideas. So if you have something that you'd like to do in northern New Mexico and you that's your passion 
and you'd like to volunteer to sort of just coordinate and get everybody, you know, the logistics. Hey, we're going to meet at this time and be in charge of the logistics. It's not terribly complicated, but if you want to be in charge of that because that's your interest and you'd like other people to join you, um, that'd be that'd be great. So you can shoot me an email for that. Um, so let me tell you, I'm not going to get into the camping supplies again. I came online because I saw some of the negative drama continues. So I thought, um, you know, at the risk of people calling me crazy, uh, although they're, they're, they know very well not to say my name on their channels, um, you know, the stupid banana jokes um, <clears throat> are dying. And by the way, if you want, if, if you're part of the, the party crowd and you want to have a costume party with the young people, uh, you know, hey, go ahead and you can all dress up like bananas, you know, more, more, more power to you. Um, but, you know, for all those people who want to spoil it and mock me, um, shame on them. So uh, anyway, so I came online because I heard, I saw the mama drama was going to continue. And I thought, no, let's, let's get this back to talking about planning a real camp out, a real activity, someone who's not trying to get themselves on Netflix camp out, uh, and, uh, and, and, and go from there. So I wanted to show you a few things to think about. Um, you know, this is a party, you know, people can make fun of me about, Hey, why is she having cake and pie and, and breakfast burritos? It's a party. Okay. If you don't want to come to a party, you want to sit miserable and be at home, you go do that, but we're going to plan a party. So, uh, here's some things that I'm planning every day. I'm sitting over here when I'm not working. Um, and I'm, and I'm running around and I'm getting stuff for my area. And so I thought I'd share with you what I'm doing, um, generally, not, not specifics. And I'm, I'm still working on my book, by the way. So some of my, my things I'm doing are themed for me but um, and for my book. Uh, but, but uh, you know, there's, obviously you can do a whole lot of things that are just general in nature without knowing the details of what I'm doing. Uh, over here. So for example, uh, the other day I went to Walmart and I got, um, here, I'll show you. I got these six foot black tables that I started to rebuy because last year I returned stuff after it didn't happen at Labor Day. So I went and I started to buy those again and they're very good price. These are six foot black tables that I just saw at Walmart. I think they were $45. So if you think about getting that kind of stuff for your own camp area and also to lend us for other for activities, that would be great. You know, for example, I'm working on I went back to my Amazon site and I'm working on ideas for people. If you want to bring gifts for like a silent auction for people to you know win prizes to take home. And if you want to donate to that, I'm, I went back to my Amazon registry and, and I'm updating that and deleting the stuff that got um, discontinued, et cetera. So, you know, I could use tables too. So if you're not using a table for your own camp area, I could use tables for, you know, that auction. I could use it for people if people want to volunteer and bring cakes or pies or whatever. We could use foldable portable tables. So again, good price at Walmart. Um, and then of course you're going to take it home with you because I don't need, I don't need foldable portable tables. So, you know, what, and, and so that's an idea. Uh, another idea to think about um, is don't buy these yet. Don't buy anything yet um, unless you're going to use them for your own house. Cause um, obviously again, you're jaded. But, you know, fire pits I got. I got a cheap fire pit at Walmart, and it's sitting in my storage locker. I got a cheap um, cup. I got a cheap, cheap, um, oh, my cold the other day. I'm pretty sure I had allergies from Cupcake. So I think Cupcake needs to get a bath. <laughs> so she's over there, like, rolling all over the floor. Um, what else? I got a cheap grill at uh, Amazon that I, put it, that I had to put in storage from last year. Um, so those are ideas too. Uh, what was I going to show you? Oh, I know I was going to tell you too. Uh, but don't buy the grill. If you haven't bought a grill already or you don't not take one from home and I'm talking about those cheap, you know, $40, $45 grills that stand off the ground so that we, you know, are safe if we do have campfires. Um, but again, don't buy anything yet, uh, for this 22 time period, 2022 time period, because 
we have to be cognizant of, you know, fire restrictions and um, especially, you know, July time period where it's hot, there may be limitations on campfires. So, you know, just, just sort of things to put in the back of your mind or to revisit this video later. Um, the other thing I was thinking would be a lot of fun because I don't know if you've ever done camping. Uh, if you're not a camping person, that's okay. Uh, I was not a camping person. I had, I've done a, a, a lot of it, obviously, since 2018. But if you're not, that's still okay because there's going to be a lot of people around you. If you're spooked, if you're still spooked, you can always sleep in your car. I, I did that a lot of times because I was by myself a lot of times. And I, you know, was kind of skittish. Um, but one thing that I thought of that would make it very cheerful and fun for everybody was um, LED lights you could bring. So I was looking this morning about LED light options and I found two things I'm gonna show you real fast. I have to show it to you on my phone because my, because my old account got screwed up. Uh, I wasn't able to live stream or at least figure out how to live stream yet. So I'm gonna show you what I saw this morning on um, ideas for LED lights for your campsite. And I've done this in the past, not this exact thing for myself, but on Amazon I was looking through and I typed in LED battery floodlight outdoor. And I found, um, I don't think I got the price, but it wasn't terribly expensive. And it might be something good for you. Again, you're gonna probably have to tie it to a tree or something, but you could probably get like some string you know, slip it through. I'll show it the gizmo in a second. Slip it through the gizmo and tie it around a tree. And I think it's most, some of these are motion center, but make sure they, they're they battery powered. So the search I did was LED battery powered or battery floodlight outdoor. And I'll show you the other example too. Okay, so this is what I saw this morning. Just, you know, this is not, you don't have to buy this one if you want to get something, but this would be helpful, you know, for people to not trip over stuff or for by your own tent. That, and if you have the, the funds and, and, and that would be something that would make you comfortable. Um, oh, here's another thing I was looking at this morning. I was looking at um, security. So if you say, hey, I'm a corporation and I'd love to be part of the program uh, and I'd love to help pay for security for the event, you know, to whatever extent you want to, that's something to think about. Um, then, okay, so here's the lights I found. Let me see if I have a better picture. Okay, I typed in, let me make sure I type this right. Okay, yeah, okay, I typed in this morning that I thought were a, a reasonably priced and a fun idea that people could have for around the campsite and would make it nice and cheerful um, when things get dark. I typed in colorful outdoor battery operated light and I came across these LED uh, ropes and they're 40 feet long. So you could probably wind it around a tree or loop it through your tent or uh, a shade tent. If you bring a shade tent. Um, and let me tell you the price that I saw here. I'll show you the picture. So that's just, that's the search command I did on, on Amazon. Okay. And then, I mean, you, again, you don't have to get this exactly, but it would be kind of fun. Um, 1399 for one set, I think. And if you wanted two sets, it was $25.99. So again, you can put that by your campsite and uh, it would it would help cheer things up at night and it would show people how to get around too. And make sure, you know, of course you're gonna wanna bring flashlights. Uh, what was the other thing I was just thinking of? So, you know, if you have, if you ever wanna sponsor um, other things like the cake, the pie, kegs, um, that type of thing. Uh, artists, whatever, like I just said, what else was there? I'll come back online and redo the video about suggested items to bring. Um, or you want to sponsor for garbage pickup. Um, or you want to sponsor like, hey, I'll stand in a certain area for a certain time frame uh, and, 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 you know, watch people for safety purposes in certain areas for a certain time frame, that would be helpful. Um, you know, and, and again, um, anyway, those are sort of the things I've been thinking about and I thought I'd come online 
And you know me, I don't really like to do long videos, but um, you know, that's, those are some ideas. Oh, and back to the crafty idea, since I'm looking at my little craft projects that I'm working on and um, I get made fun of, but you know, again, it's a party. So if you want to go to a party and have fun, have fun. If, if you don't, if you want to go sit at home and be an angry YouTuber, you, you do that, okay? Because <laughs> nobody's going to be watching you during the camp out. Um, oh, and then the only, and the only, you know, let's keep filming down to a limited amount. If Gene comes, of course, Gene will have, you know, the full rights to, to record um, because, you know, he's been there throughout the years and uh, we're not going to have some cheesy guy come in and, and say he's doing some, you know, he's a wannabe Netflix guy and he's going to harass everybody with the camera, so, you know, but somebody like Gene who's put in the time over the years, of course, would be allowed to do that if he can come. Okay. So anyway, back to the crafty it is, you know, Hey Barb, uh, I heard you're not crafty and this would be a fun idea. So for, and one idea, for example, I, I did the go flag kite video, you know, uh, if somebody wants my kites or, or if y'all want to bring your kites, um, that would be fun. Uh, the, uh, or other, oh, oh, like the bags game. You know, if you want to, if you want to volunteer to bring a bags game, um, I may, I bought two and I have one for, uh, one area and a second for like the main camp area. Um, and I put, I bought these lights, those led lights that go around them. I think I showed this to you like a long time ago. And, you know, so that way you can play bags at night. So if you're in the party area or if you're just even in the normal campground area, that'd be fun. You know, you want to sit around and um, play bags at night and, and uh, drink responsibly. That would be fun. So, again, uh, you know, if you want to volunteer to do that or if you have it and you're just going to bring it anyway, uh, you know, Keep in mind, you know, if you want to play game at night, buy the buy the lights on Amazon for your set. Um, okay, but so back to the crafting. Barb, I heard you're not crafty. I'm very good at crafts, and I'd love to host an hour session for doing X Y Z project. Um, and here's what I can offer. So um, that'd be fun, you know. If, or people can go on day trips. So just to provide alternative things for people to do. Um, of course, you don't have to do any activity if you don't want. If you just want to sit around quietly uh, with a book, of course, you could do that. Just that's just fine, too. Um, and if you're going to do an activity, I think because of the potential to get a large number of people, which we'll find out as we progress, um, that you would want to you're going to want to be back like at the campground, like if you want to do a day trip and you want to go on the Rio Grande, that you want to be back by five for like dinner and, um, you know, so that, so that we don't have anybody on the road, uh, like forest roads, because this, you know, this is like the, you know, foresty type area. Um, it's not in downtown Santa Fe. Uh, you're going to want to be stationed. Uh, and the other thing we're going to want is going to be careful, want to be careful with little kids running around with all the cars coming in. And so we're going to want to have not a lot of traffic um, in our area. That's again, very isolated. Um, and, and make room for people. Like if people need to pick up trash or whatever, we, we're, we're going to want people not driving up and down these forest roads. I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with New Mexico, but if you're up in, uh, the mountains, uh, you're going to want to have a good car and you're not going to want to be driving around, uh, when it's rainy. Uh, so anyway, just, you got to be cognizant of that. So, and again, and we're not going to have anybody drinking and driving, uh, around, you know, so like, that's my thought about safety is like five o'clock. Everybody needs to be back at their campsite or, you know, the camp area the cars parked and nobody's going to be driving around. Um, uh, after that time and there's certain, nobody's going to be drinking or driving too. So, um, anyway, those were some thoughts. So, uh, you know, kind of plan on having like a communal party, uh, at night. And with that in mind, um, so the things I thought about, as you know, you all made fun of me and I'm going to do it again, by the way, cause I don't, I don't really care anymore, um, about these, these mean people. Um, 
you know, think about fun things like, hey, Barb, here's an idea for a, a party theme, you know. Um, so one thing that I've been working on, and uh, you all saw my little candles that I worked down last year. So I did, the, I, I had to redo them because I used some. This one's not finished, but I made, you know, made little glitter candles for my little camp area. I have, I have to put another layer on it. And I started um, making, uh, this is blank right now, but I bought some wine and I'm going to make labels for my little wine bottles. So, you know, themed uh, wine bottles. So anyway, those are the types of things. And if you have more crafty type ideas that you think would be fun for people to do while they get excited about a picnic down the road um, or a camp out down the road, that'd be great. All right. So uh, those are some of my ideas for today. I'll come back. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe like a week. I've been working on my book and I'm going to go back to doing that. Um, and then I'll redo that video about other ideas for what you could think about bringing for camping. And we'll keep it positive and fun again and ignore all that negative melodrama. Uh, they can all, again, they can all go sit at home while we uh, drink our, our fun wine and have our fun cake and uh, cook, our, cook on our grills. So. That's it, everybody. Thank you for your time, and we'll we'll see you soon. Bye. And uh, feel free to email me whenever you want. Only for please don't bother me like with your conspiracy theories. Uh, you know, asking me to do anything legally. If you want to email me about, hey, I'd like to be a sponsor or a volunteer, or here are some ideas for a camp out now or down the road. That's that's why my email is up for you. So, all right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.